Is it on? Is this thing on? Press that record button with your pinky. That's it. Okay, sweet. We're recording. Yo, what up, guys? Nick Davis here. Welcome back to this week's version of Board Talks by me, Nicky D. Guys, I'm very excited this week to review the butter stick. As you can see in front of me, this is the butter. This is the stick. First impressions when I unboxed it was, well, this looks sticky. Very thin profile, and I love the yellow undercoat. I'm very excited to try this board out for you guys. And um, yeah, stay tuned. And this is Crunchy. Come here, girl. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, do all that malarkey. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week. Peace. Yo, so I'm nearly at Liquid Leisure. I'm gonna go and test out this board behind me, which is the 2020 Liquid Force Butterstick Pro. Um, this is a 148. Guys, I'm really excited to go and test this board. And now it's started to rain, which I'm very happy about. So my camera gets lots of splodges on it. Fuming! Anyway guys, much love and enjoy the video. So guys, I've just got done riding the 2020 Liquid Force Butterstick Pro. This is uh, Felix Gorgi's Pro model, another unbelievable rider. He's absolutely smashing it now. He's been around for a long time, but he's just getting better and better and better. So I put a story out a few weeks ago on my Instagram saying, what board should I ride next? And so many people come back with saying this board, ride Felix's board, ride the Butterstick Pro. Um, I want to see your feedback on it. I want to see if it's good for your riding. So, guys, I went out there today, Liquid Leisure, once again, my home cable, London. Um, and from looking at this board, I thought, you know what, it's a bit smooth at the bottom. There's hardly any channels except to the tip and tail. There's only minimal channels. So I thought it's going to be slippery, but it's going to have that kind of approach to it. But as soon as I jumped on it, it's so grippy. I, I couldn't believe it. From having nothing at the bottom, it just held so well. And for air tricks, it's unbelievable so it really locks on i always look for a board that kind of grips and you don't have to worry about the board slipping and this board did that the board just held a solid edge every time was consistent with the pop i always knew what i was going to get so for that reason i really enjoyed this board for air tricks and it lands stable and it lands with speed so for a board that's got no channels whatsoever it grips really well for air tricks yeah, so as I said, the board's got no channels at the bottom. So this means and allows the board to ride smoothly over rails, doesn't get hung up on pipes or, you know, any other corrugated rails and stuff. So for that reason, it's pretty good. Good grip, good release for air tricks. Not the flexes on the rails, but the flex is there in the tip and tail. So it does lock on and it holds. So for beginners to advanced riders, that's a pretty good feature. For my riding as well, I like that. 
the board's too soft, it keeps on going. So this board's got a nice little trigger point on it and it holds pretty good. So I'm, I'm not doing that one foot of stuff. It scares the hell out of me. I ain't doing it. So as you can see in the board itself, it comes with a liquor force flex track system. So this means and allows you to kind of make the stance whatever you want. So you can go as narrow as you want, as wide as you want. You can tweak it to whatever kind of style you like. Boards in the past, I haven't really rode this. I always thought it adds a little bit of weight to the board that doesn't need to be there. But that being said, it kind of stiffens the middle of the board. So it makes the tip and tail flexy. So that's the style of this board. So for anyone who knows about rockers in board, this is a progressive three stage rocker. It's got a beveled liquid force liquid rail, which is the ABS sidewall, but it's a real chunky one. So this is going to hold up again anything you throw at it at the weight parks. It's solid. It comes in a 140, 144, 148, and a 152. The board I've just rode then is the 148. I prefer this size of board, so it's easier for me to throw around for air tricks, bel airs, TikToks, my kind of playful riding. I think this board's better for that. My style of riding, a 148, is perfect. Not the flexes, as I said, but it's there. So the tip and tail will go and it does lock. Air tricks, very good. Holds a solid edge, very consistent with a pop. Lands nice with the kickers. Doesn't flatten out so you can charge and you know you're going to get away with it and your knees will have a nice little break. Um, price range, don't have a clue. Don't know where you're watching and what country you're at. Everything's changing. Everything's different. But guys, overall, um, I did enjoy it. Felix, well done. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to try more boards from the Lick Force range and other companies that, you know, are allowing me to do so. So guys, thanks for watching. It's a thumbs up from me. It's a great board. Good for air tricks. That's, that's my main thing. I know people out there don't like them. I love them. Air tricks, rails, kickers. I try to do it all, but this board does deliver on all of them. So well done. Cheers, guys. Much love. Enjoy the video. And I will see you next time. I don't know what's in the pipeline. I don't know what's in the back of the truck. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Cheers, guys. Peace.